So, ladies and gentlemen, we begin the business end of the tournament. The round robin play for Pool A and Pool B is done, but round robin play is not over. We begin the final four. We have a game between Canada and Denmark. Also in the final four after this, we'll have Russia versus the USA. There's only one word to describe the rest of this tournament. Delicious. Denmark on this near side. With Karina Jorgensen on the right hand side. Luca Vestad on the left and Maria Larsson in the centre. Canada on the far side. With Nancy Moran with the ball right now. Who's on the right wing but moving more to the centre. She'll bounce the ball across to Jorgensen. She's joined by Kneebone in the centre. And Cassie Orgeles on the left. Quite simply, these two teams, along with the USA and Russia, finished in the top four places, uh, top two places each of Pool A and Pool B. All the points and all the goals and everything are set to zero. They're in a brand new round robin. This is the final four. This is the final four. You should be able to hear me okay. I'm being told that he can't hear me live on the video screen. We shall uh, try that on for a second. But the ball goes in the back of the net. It's a goal for Denmark. It's a breakthrough first from Jorgensen. Jorgensen scores. Into the back of the net the ball goes. Between Kneebone and Orgeles. And it's one goal to nothing. The final four. Denmark, who went 65 minutes during the uh, pool play without conceding a goal, have taken the lead against the Canadian ladies in the first of each lady's three round-robin games. Tomorrow they'll play two games apiece, but how vital it is to get that first win. Goal coming back from Canada, though! Nancy Moran scores! The ball bounces off of Luca Vegstead. It took a top spin back before Larson could grab it, and it went in between the legs of Jorgensen, into the back of the net. Two minutes gone. And we've got a goal apiece. It's Canada 1, Denmark 1. Canada will be most relieved at that after having been shut out by uh, Russia earlier on today. The ball is in the hands of Luca Vegstead. Vegstead from the left hand side sends the ball down the line towards Nancy Moran. Moran blocks the ball. Moran, who equalised, now sends the ball from the uh, four spot into the centre where uh, Maria Larson blocks the ball and moves the ball to Jorgensen. The white shirted Danes in the far side in the form of Jorgensen sends the ball across the face of Kneebone. Moran blocks the ball. Luca Vestead on the left hand side holds the ball high, sends the ball down towards uh, Nancy Moran. Moran will send the ball back from where it came towards Larson's left hand side in the four spot. And the ball is in the hands of Nancy Moran. Hopefully, people in the Accessible World Auditorium can hear me just a little better now. It's working on a different mic microphone from the Ustream video selection. There we go. All sorted out. Three minutes and 20 seconds gone. Of course, in the Accessible World Auditorium, you can't hear the sounds of the uh, court. There is a reason for that, but I'll tell you in a second, because Nancy Moran once more has found that gap in the four spot. It's not a gap. It comes off of Luca Vegstead. Perhaps they've found just a weakness. Vegstead not moving well to her right. The ball bounces off her shoulders into the back of the net, and Canada lead by two goals to one.
Jorgensen trying to level the scores up. Coming up to four minutes gone in this first half. Only finds the outstretched toes of Moran. Moran moves the ball to Orgales on the left-hand side. Orgales sends the ball across the court. It's pushed away by uh, Larsen and into the arms of Bedstead. That's where the Swedes have been having uh, had all the luck. Or all the joy, if you like, in the last game against Denmark. They put the ball across the face of Larsen in between her and uh, Bedstead. That seems to be the target for Nancy Moran. She's scored twice already. She's not found a gap, but she's managed to get the ball to spin away from Bedstead twice. It's Canada 2, Denmark 1. Nebo moves the ball across to Cassie Orgeles on the left-hand side. Left-handed sends the ball again across the face of Larsen. Larsen traps the ball, moves the ball to Jorgensen on the right. Jorgensen just off that right-hand post. Sends the ball thundering through the gap and underneath the legs and into the back of the net. It came off Nibon and Orgeles on the left-hand side. The ball came away from those two in between the legs of Nancy Moran. It looked like it might hit the post and go out, but it hit the post and went in. And we're all level at two goals apiece. And a timeout is taken by Denmark. It's 2-2. Just coming up to five minutes to go in this first half. Uh, five minutes gone, sorry, in this first half. Denmark 2, Canada 2, both sides coming out of the blocks quickly. Luca Vedstead has the ball in the centre, sends the ball into the centre where it's collected, uh, kicked away by Kneebone, just to the left of centre. Orgeles blocks, uh, collects the ball and Cassie Orgeles sends the ball across the court. It's into the centre. Uh, it's into the um, centre of Vedstead anyway, to the left of centre. Jorgensen comes back up with the ball. Tries to find a gap between Orgeles and Kneebone. Last time the ball pinballed between the two and went through Nancy Moran's legs and into the back of the net, but not this time. Nancy Moran looking for her third. Again, forces uh, Vegstead to block the ball in the fourth spot. And this time it comes off the back of Larson and Larson and Vegstead managed to keep the ball away from the goal line. The ball's back with the, the Canadians with Orgeles on the left-hand side. Cassie Orgeles, the Ontario player, sends the ball across the court. It's kicked away by Luca Vedstead. Luca on the left hand side sends the ball across the wall, across the uh, court towards Orgeles on the left wing. Orgeles traps the ball and moves the ball to Moran. Ball goes into the centre from Nancy Moran, where it's uh, trapped by Danielle Larson. Sorry. By Maria Larson. I keep getting those two mixed up all the way time. Ball from Jor Jorgensen again is loose off of the legs of Orgeles, but it goes this time across into the arms of Nancy Moran. Moran sends the ball down the line, but it's wide. We're over the halfway mark in this first half. Denmark 2, Canada 2. Both sides have had the lead. Both sides have pulled each other back. This is the first of the round-robin games in the final four. There's no semi-finals or bronze medal games in this, or gold medal games even. All it is is a new division, with the USA and Russia also taking part with these two teams. Again, the ball is loose against, or off of the toes of Orgeles, but Nancy Moran is quick to defend in the centre. Moran bounces the ball towards Larson. Larson traps the ball in the four spot. Maria uh, Luca Vedstead sends the ball across the court. Orgeles traps the ball. For those of you discussing in the Accessible World Auditorium, we did get that recorded, that uh, discussion that happened before this game, and we will be broadcasting it. We'll be uh, putting that on the uh, webpage somewhere for you to have a look at and review and comment. thought it was a great discussion. Four and a half minutes to go in this first half. Again, Again, Nancy Moran forces Luca Vesta to move to her right and push the ball away. Jorgensen, down the line. There seems to be a definite theme developing in this game. 
The Canadians are targeting Jorgensen, uh, Luca Bedstead in the four spot. And Jorgensen is targeting Orgeles and uh, Nebo in the other four spot. And at the moment, it's two goals apiece with four minutes to go. Larson traps the ball to her left, moves the ball to Jorgensen on the right. She stands in that two spot, takes a deep breath, swings her arm and bends her back and again gets the ball off of Cassie Orgeles' legs in that four spot. It's uh, kept in front of her though and she'll send the ball across the court towards uh, Luca Vestead. Vestead from that left hand side moves into the centre, now decides to come out to the left and she'll send the ball towards Orgeles but she gets her angle all wrong. Tomorrow we'll continue with the final four. Both of the sides will have two games left. After this game, the final game of the day will be the USA versus Russia. A matchup of nuclear proportions, should we say. Jorgensen comes into the four spot. Will deliver down towards Nancy Moran. Moran pushes the ball. Around the right-hand post. She had to scramble to do so. Great defence from the experienced right winger. She scored the two goals for Canada. She's looking for a hat-trick. Three minutes to go in the first half. She bounces the ball towards Larson. Larson dives to her left and has to reach out and push the ball away. Jorgensen on that right-hand post. Holds the ball out. Bends her back. Sends the ball into the legs of Nebo. Nebo kicks the ball away. Orgeles on the left-hand side with a red bandana. From Ontario. Sends the ball across the court. Luca Vegete from Copenhagen, I believe. I must admit, I'm not up so much on the uh, local teams of Denmark as I am of Canada. The ball comes down the line. It's uh, from Nancy Moran into Luca Vegete, and Larson does the cleaning up. The ball goes. Uh, Towards Amy Kneebone. And she collects it from Jorgensen. And as she does. A timeout is called on the court. With 2 minutes and 12 seconds left on the clock. In the first half. We are locked at 2 goals apiece. In the last two days, Canada and Denmark and the USA and Russia, all four teams have looked absolutely awesome. With the greatest of respect to all the other teams, these four have been outstanding and deserve their place in this final four. And what a thrilling concept. No one-off games where a little bit of luck might get you through or, you know, the, the one who lasts the longest wins. No. You have three games against three tough opponents in the space of a day and a half. Who will outlast the others on a 12-minute aside game? We have one and a half minutes left of the first half. Orgeles sends the ball across the court. It's pushed away by Vegstead. Vegstead moves the ball to Jorgensen, who comes away onto the right-hand side and will deliver the ball down towards Orgeles. Orgeles traps the ball, asks for an equipment check. He's not going to get one. Nancy Moran has the ball and bounces the ball towards Larson. Larson traps the ball in both hands, diving to her left in front of the four spot. Vegstead was covering behind. Vegstead takes the ball and sends the ball down towards the knee pads of Moran. Into the last minute we go of the first half. Canada 2, Denmark 2. There's no overtime. Just straightforward, 12 minutes each way. Ball goes down the line from Jorgensen. It's uh, blocked by Orgeles and Kneebone will clean up and Orgeles will deliver the ball. Holding the ball in two hands and right hand uh, then delivering across the face of Larson. Larson holds onto the ball and there's an equipment check for uh, Luca Vegstead. Denmark.